If you're here for GeoGuessr, you are in the right place, friends. This is the Europe, Middle East, and Africa Regional Finals. That's right, we've got all of EMEA here, which means we've got 16 players up from the H you saw last time at the Americas Regional Finals, and we've scaled everything up to accommodate. I'm your host, Rachel, and I'm joined here on the desk by two incredible minds from the GeoGuessr community. I've got ZigZag, and I've got Chicago Geographer. Of course, we also have Rainbolt, Paula, and Toby taking us through the casting. So last February, we had the America's Finals, where five players qualified for the World Cup, including myself. This time, we've got the Europe, Middle East, and Africa Final here, where it's 10 of the top 16 players here will qualify. In June, we've got the Asia and the Pacific Regional Finals, where five more players will move on. Taking a look at the Europe format here this weekend. Four groups. Uh, the top two players from each group will move forward to the World Cup and to the quarterfinals. The third player from each group will face off against the corresponding third player from another group to determine who will have a last chance World Cup spot. And then sadly, the fourth player from each group will be eliminated. Let's take a look at the prize pool. 5,000 for first place. That's quite a nice prize to take home for a weekend of GeoGuessr. But how precious would it be to pick up a first place and get your name carved in the eternity, the future, what is to come for GeoGuessr Esports? This is the very first time we'll be putting a name on the EMEA regional plate here. We start off each series with a moving game so they can move down the road, search for clues. Then we have the no moving format. And then finally, we have no moving panning or zooming, staring at a still image, just a picture, and uh, you have to guess exactly where in the world you are. This is a really exciting group to start off the day. Of course, we have Consus, our world champion from last what, year. What? And then we also have two newcomers here to the World Cup we have Salak and Finbar. Looking forward to see how they play. And then we have a longtime veteran of the community, Alok, as well. So a really well-rounded group of players here. Yeah, and later on, we're going to be jumping in with Group B. Anyone stand out for you there, Zigzag? Another two extremely uh, veteran players in Topotic and Debre. And then, again, it's kind of the two newcomers who came through the qualification stage. That's Armani and Ricky Beast. Well, he's back in the building. The go, everybody. Give it up for Rain. But we've got a big one to start things off, haven't we, Trevor? Match one, we have Salak versus Finbar. Hungary versus Ireland, Australia. Let's see if we can reach you guys here. This is where, you know, round two is where the multis do start. So we will see maybe more damage here. And Salak has found the city here, Bustleton. Oh no, this is actually massive. One second left. This it's is gonna be huge. And it's a massive difference, Trevor. You're absolutely right. Is that, <laughs> did he just get two That rounded? will be two rounds and done. Oh wow, what a start for the new wow. Zalek. He's looking to the plate there. These are somewhat regional. This, is, this pull is a split in half there, Paula. It's not very good. Look, I'm not much of an architect, but I think you're right, Trevor. Looks like we might be in Russia. Finn obviously will have an advantage here, and if, if you see, he looks happy, and he looks confused. Oh my god, Finn! And is he zooming into the road? Alpha zoom straight off the rip, and, he and he's gonna it lock it in. He must know that that's the road. If that's the Don't road, let Paula. this be a blunder, Finn. One of the sickest guesses that we've seen. But they're so close, Paula. They're so close. But 5x they're damage, so close. No. Trevor! It was oh the road! Oh my god, Finn, you absolute god! He, oh, he's but it's in it. that much not enough! We're Do going not. to round 10. It looks like we're in either the UK or Ireland. And that's a small country. Small country equals small points. Oh, yeah, of course. And it was Ireland. <laughs> and yeah. it was Ireland. Finn takes match one. We're back in Kazakhstan, which is, again, one of those countries that was released last month that no one expected to get released in the game. There's no sightings of the car at all. So this was a very unexpected drop, but also a very happy drop to get such a beautiful country in the game. Yeah. It's going to stick with it, though. Wait, oh, Constance. my Constance. You are a monster. And he 5 would it. It's That's a 5k! 40, 40, points. How dare I doubt him asking if he has studied Kazakhstan? The answer is yes, he has. This is as pure as it gets, Trevor. Whoever's seconds. closest is gonna win. Alok or Zalek? Alok needs to stay alive, but unfortunately for him, Zalek is just too good. He's almost on the money. Get paid! Sending 13k damage wow. towards Serbia. I mean... Oh, oh, okay. Hit, hit the emo on him, Playing up Here's for the, the camera. We like that. When Get we, spicy. When do we get the gritty in GeoGuessr? Thank you so much, Rachel. What a great breakdown of what we are about to see. I can, yeah, we'll, we'll, I don't know where we'll go in this. <laughs> Final round of this first game. Yeah. It's like a Chile. Yet another big country. Might a be. long one at that. The Sweden of South America. So um, I think. I, I, now it is. Finn. Who has it? It's Finn. But is it enough? Yeah. Is it enough to punch him down? Yes, it is! Ooh. Finbar on the uh. final stretch, able to bring it home! Headed into round number two, no move. Got me hyped because I thought we were going to Denmark. But then, because I've learned quickly, these aren't our bullets. They're not the Danish bullets. They are the German German. Oh, okay, I'm learning quickly. I like it. A lock locked in. Finn so locked in. And it looks like he's not moving at all. I think his camera might have been frozen, but that's okay. A lock. Or oh, he's very still. He's just, very, he's just doing the mannequin <laughs> challenge. We keep going oh, here. Instagram? Oh. Instagram? 
Any followers? New followers coming in? One time I put an Instagram on stream. I got blocked by the Instagram account. <laughs> it was like a cupcake shop I was trying to promote. But I... They probably didn't have enough people to make cupcakes for all the orders they started to getting out of nowhere. And there means some. And you know, McDonald's, they might be able to handle it, though. Pretty nice McDonald's here. I mean, what, almost three stories high? And you can get a cheap sofa, I yeah, think. At McDonald's? Well, I mean, on, <laughs> across the street. You steal the sofa from McDonald's. <laughs> we have Constas and Finbar really making a name for themselves here, each with two wins right now. Them facing off here in the last match of Group A. It's an exciting finale. I stole a member of the desk for myself. Six X joining me here for the cast. Kind of log in, but it's hard to get all of them, of course. So did you see that license plate? We had a yellow one there on one of the cars. Tends to be found in New Jersey and New York, but can be found elsewhere. I mean, so, seven seconds. Constance has still yet to even look at them. Now, the speed scrolling, <gasps> but he's following Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, no. This is huge. Oh, it was Atlanta. <laughs> he no gets shot. it and Finbar shaking his head too. Maybe it was a bait. Toby, cars travel. They travel. They travel. <laughs> Who can region guess? California the best. Ooh, They're Californian pole market. Big there. state. These guys are way off oh. from one another. This is East Coast to West Coast. He thinks it's Albany, New York. He's had struggles with the Albany round so far, Finbar. Oh, it's okay. dangerous. He does okay. swing further towards the West. This is devastating. Consus, unless he's in the complete wrong part of the state, he's won the round. Number one. What? Are we five ping this? What? Maybe. Finbar 5k! Unbelievable! Oh, top 4,300 damage to Consus as Finbar strikes back. Perfectly sits down a 5k. Look at him staring into the camera. He knows we're looking. He knows that everyone's eyes on him. Looking like we also have some uh, Austrian German. I think. Different know. regions, different regions. Look at these guesses. 179. It could Finn, be you better be on point. You better be on point. Or this is game. They're <gasps> oh, both it's locked so in. Equidistant. Look at that. 87, 88. Unbelievable. <laughs> No damage done. Finn lives to see another day. Indonesia has these tiny little places called Kabupaten. They're the regencies of Indonesia. They tell you the exact place if you find one. I think Consus yeah. only locks fast when he knows. Exactly. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And it's going to be Consus. <laughs> Finn knew it. Yeah, shout out for everyone tuning in again. Uh, shout out to my friends, family watching at home. This has been the conclusion of Group A here. And congratulations to Consus, who is coming out very nicely on top. Now we are heading into Group B. We've got a whole new crop of players. We are heading into our first match of Group B, which is going to be Armani, Ricky, Beast. Trevor, are you ready to flex it up? I'm always ready to flex. So this should be a very competitive NMPZ. Where are we, Trevor? <laughs> it's Africa. Let's see. Maybe Senegal is my best guess off the bat. Oh, Armani's going straight in. Yeah, he's going to Senegal. Oh. I think he might have literally just 5 k Right on the coast. 10 seconds down, and he locks it in. He's going Nigeria. Oh, wow. Oh. And this Oh, did he actually 5K? Armani, have you done it? Almost. Not quite, but, but it's game. full 997, and that is game. And that's where... Wow. And then PZ pays off. The two other players of Group B, Tapotic and Debre. Big names in the space, Zigzag. People you're familiar with? Absolutely. So an interesting fact about Debre and Topodic is that they have both created very influential maps. To create a map, you select a whole bunch of locations, normally in the tens of thousands, and then you publish those as a complete set. Debre made a map that's focused on being really difficult to guess, and Topodic's map is focused on really rural locations, and two of these have been really staples of the competitive scene. So these two, a lot of their knowledge comes from instead of playing, clicking around the map and finding the really interesting uh, nooks and crannies of different countries. Do you know all the United States area codes? I know most of them. I spent like about two hours just right now, just like going over as many of them as I could. Actually, I have like another topic. What did you have for breakfast? Had some pancakes, some bacon and eggs. There you go. Oh, uh, yes, a good choice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Trevor, I'm looking at you. Um, huge, huge mug of coffee. Yeah. And a boiled egg. That's what you had for breakfast. Am I right? No. <sighs> Why would you think I like coffee? That's crazy. You're all particularly excited about this one. You described it as a matchup for content. No, Why is that? They're both just very like emotional people toward, towards the game. And I think that'll show in, the, in this game. I is, mean, is Debra staring Topodic down? What, what's happening here? Is he, is he giving a death He's, he's mocking his competition. <laughs> is he actually for, Wait, he's actually he staring actually him down. Is. Oh my! The mind games, I love it! I don't think Topotic even knew though, so I don't even know if it is a mind game. But we're in Australia. A strength for Topotic. Debre finds Australia challenging, particularly difficult. Is there a chance here? The point says they are in a round 10. Ten it is Paula. anyone's game. We have one Newcastle guest, one slice. Debre yep. taking the win. It's Debre taking the win. That one truly down to the wire. Look how close they were, even in round 10. And here we are, Trevor, in your hometown of Arkansas. Uh, it should be Canada, maybe. Tried my best. Maybe sometimes your best isn't. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. 
<laughs> Round seven. Debray locks in. Big points here coming, Paula. But in which direction will they go? Debray. Debray. Is it enough? No, not quite. 251 points remain oh, on Topotic. No. Locked in first. And <gasps> straight after. Topotic's closer. Topotic is closer. He stays alive. In Lithuania, it looks like. Which is good for Debra, not good for Topotic. Debra's in Latvia and Debra's in Estonia. Debra's in Lithuania. Debra's in Estonia. Debra's oh, in Lithuania. Where will he finish? That is the question, Trevor. And it's Topotic to act first. Now you've got to make your choice, Debra. It's, it's all on the line and Topotic makes it work. 5x damage, it's only 1.1k. We will see round 10. Debre will win on points. Topodic needs to make a play, and he needs a country where he can make a play. Trevor, do we have a country like that? Move that bus. Turkey. You remember, yeah, they probably didn't make it to the UK, did that show? Round 10. <laughs> They're in the similar regions. They're so close, like, I don't even think it's possible. Yeah. He's closer. Topodic is, is closer. Enough? Is it enough distance with a 5.5x? <gasps> No. no! It is Debre that comes out on top. He wow. does it in two. We do not need to see NMPZ. I'm just kind of happy we get a Debre interview. Or maybe not happy, depends uh, on the person. That was really close. Both games came down to the wire there. And, you know, oh, there we go. Oh, and Topodic. And Debre, Debre was, tries to play Debre some games. Was, uh, that was a little, you know, how's it feel coming up against a... I got, I got, He's <laughs> got Ricky Beast coming in from earlier, and we're going to find out now if he can unleash the beast later in the day. That's a good one. I'll give you props on that one. I'm basically here just because I want the Rain Bolt props, you know? Every time I speak, I cross my fingers. I hope Trevor approves, Please, you know? give me the validation <laughs> I need. Round five in Russia. It's actually a really valuable sign there for Topolik. Putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. Right, when you're he does in lock in early, first. You have to feel somewhat confident. And it's Urkut! Urkut! Oh my! Topodic, you absolute this game. beast taking the name away from Ricky. And we're going into no move. Round four. Southern Brazil here. Maybe the Portuguese influence maybe helps here. We'll see. Could do. Speaks the language. Topodic cannot find his map. Topodic. Oh no. Admin. This is like a, a, is a crucial part of like esports training and, and, and life. And it's your first time now doing a fill. So Trevor. Yeah. Over to you in the studio. You're on your own, all right? Just everyone. I want everyone to sit back and relax as Paula takes it away here. <laughs> oh, <you can't... laughs> no, okay. No, but no, I know. Honestly, that was actually a very interesting predicament. We'll be replaying the no move from the start. Players are looking around here. Not to script. The Ricky Beast has to open his map. He has 10 well, seconds left. Like 10 seconds left. Does he even? He's going Mexico. Oh no. Oh, this, this is, is game. huge. This oh, is dude, game. This is actually game. This it's is game. game. Toponic, yes. You've, oh no, it's not game. Yeah, it was on the same game we just were on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a huge, huge start. With one second left on the clock, we're gonna find out. Topodic is closer, and, and that's that, probably gonna be game. That's game. Definitely that's game. gonna be game. Yep. Uh, both of them gonna get up. Core still. Oh no. Yeah. Respect. Is, it just happens every single time, Paula. We need to have a meeting. We just need to have a meeting. Time for another quiz. And this one is going to be with the unshakable and all-knowing Kansas. Now, I've hyped you up a bit here. Do you feel like you can live up to that? I'll try. What is a national animal of Scotland? Who's that national animal? Lion. Oh, I'm going to guess unicorn. What did you say, chat? It's a unicorn! Get the Kansas! I beat Kansas! Did you guys see that? No, look at that. They're walking the dog. And the cameraman is happy, too. Well, got to start hitting home, Amon, if you want to bring it home. Speaking of home. It's not Denmark. You can't do me like this. Not it's again. not. It's not. It's Sweden. <laughs> Same thing, right? No, I'm just kidding. Whoa, 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 with the win. Indeed it is! And you can see the shift of his energy. And we look at that. Special Damn, handshake. we got to keep a, can improving. we have a counter in the top right corner? One. I'm liking it. That's one. The scary thing about Armani is that he's definitely one of the strongest NMPZ players out there. So ideally you would want to beat him 2-0 and then not have to deal with having to play NMPZ against him. Debris is the kind of guy, was it 913? He okay. finally gets to use the area codes that he learned. He said, wait a second. <laughs> is he figuring out that he was wrong? No, I think is he, he knows he's is? right. He knows he's right. Holding the finger up. Going, no, he Whoa! doesn't know it. Putting on a show for the fans. Debris's right. Oh, he's on no, point. Not. Amani is off by quite a margin. 4.5k nice. damage. Over to round number two. Kobe, I think we might have done it. You're kidding me. Have they given us what we wanted? This looks... I, okay, okay. Can we... Can we... Can we... Is there a road sign in... Oh, my God. Oh, can my you, God. We're you, in Denmark. Can you read that for us? What does that say? Set Augustine. Now, this game could completely upset... Ooh, basketball. Basc court. I mean... Needs a little... You have uh, not very much room to... <laughs> I was you're, gonna say layups only. Yeah, literally. Let's see where Debris does end up going. I love that even when we don't get a street sign, we get one on the ground. But hope, no. Slovenia. Slovenia is where we're going. It has fooled me before <laughs> and it fools them here as well. 760 damage again. Debris in Idaho. He's slightly going more north. Is he gonna stay? 
Someone gets big points here. There is it's a big Debra. distance, and it is Debra once more close enough. Will it be game with it? No! no! 36. 36 health! And this will be no points if they both stay. Need to try and see if you yep. can get it. Nope, not gonna happen. They both picked right, but unfortunately for mine, it's not really gonna be good enough. Debra, are you a bit disappointed that you uh, didn't use the uh, basketball meta to solve that it was Slovenia? Luka Doncic meta. I have no idea about that. I feel like they probably love it in some parts of Italy as well. Like, who knows? Maybe there's like towns in Liguria that are like really into it. Oh, maybe. Yeah. You don't know that. Yeah. I mean, like, weren't the Lakers from there? The Liguria Lake? Yeah. I don't get that, Joe. I'm not American enough to get that. <laughs> Quarterfinals set up here. Constas versus Topotic. Uh, we have Debra versus Finbar. Those are such excellent matches. And then we have our first last chance match set as well. Salak versus Armani. Again, two really strong players. We saw them play very well today. Tomorrow is going to be just as competitive. Every story has an end. And every champion must once again rise to the top. Welcome to the City Hall of Stockholm and the finals of the GeoGuessr World Cup 2024. See you in Stockholm. Hey everybody, welcome back to Stockholm, Sweden for the GeoGuessr World Cup EMEA Regional Finals. That covers Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, which is why we are chock full of players this weekend. We had Consus and Debra both sweeping their groups. Unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to Alok and Ricky Beast after yesterday, but I think all the eight of these players played really fantastically. But this time we have three players coming from the World Cup last year and just one newcomer in Crookst, but don't let that fool you. Crookst is one of the fan favorites out here. He is a strong, strong player. We get to Group D halfway through the day. We got those two people who played in the World Cup as well as two new qualifiers. Time to head into our first match, and that is going to be between Crooks and Kodiak. A little preview of Crooks, bit newer, but not someone to be counted out. I mean, most notably, he's gotten some really crazy records. He got like a 20 state streak in Brazil, which for anyone who's ever tried that is an exceptional <laughs> feat. Then also similar feats in Russia as well. He was a Minecraft professional, the very top of speed running in Minecraft, and then has transitioned over to GeoGuessr now. Yeah, Kodiak is definitely a bit more of a, a veteran member of the community. He's known for being one of the greatest, probably the greatest at Indonesia. Ooh. Ooh. We're in Indo. Is there a smile, Kodiak? Oh, he's mocking. Oh, he's there. There's a little bit, a little, little reaction, subtle reaction. Do you see Crook zooming in a sign? He's gonna know, and he's zooming into Timor. And he's locking in. Kodiak hasn't found a sign yet. So they're both there. We're trying to lock down just exactly where we are. Is he changing anything? Last minute, he does. He, he goes over, right. goes it's west, and he's off. No. He went off. He had the position, but he went off in the last minute. It comes down to this. Usually when you have these round tens, Toby, you want big countries. A Montana, Wyoming. Has Crooks found it? That looks like a 5K all the way this down it, to Toby, the street itself. Crooks. On point picture it. perfect. 5K, 5K to win. for Crooks for the win. And we are even going into round six of 10. We're back in Mexico. 3.5x damage. He's going to reach against Mexico. It looks northern. Five seconds. Where's he going? He's going to the Mex. Oh, he's coming by closer, closer. Here. Who's, who's right? It's Kodiak. Is that a 5k in the making? No, oh, almost. Almost as close as can be. And it's going to be game. NMPZ. What an effort by Kodiak to bring that one down. NMPZ, this single image is all you have to guess. Is that guitar flag? It is. This is guitar. Oh, okay, Toby. Foliage expertise here comes in real handy because that's practically all you have to go off of. Yeah, round two here. Looks like we might have Colo. Looks like we have some Colo fencing here to our north. I could see someone potentially going Brazil or Mexico here. That could be something that does happen. Oh, Kodiak, which one will he choose? There's 25 seconds. He's going Brazil. This is going to be right down the wire. Who, who is going to get it? Crooks, almost perfectly on point. Able to do a game. ton of damage, and that is game in round two. Crooks. Let's bring out Wolf Trekker and Blinky. I really want to win, maybe even more than last time, because I know that I came so close. I've just always loved geography and loved the game. <laughs> Round seven. Looks like Eastern Russia. We have Wolf going to Chelyabinsk. It could be, that's part of the case. Wolf is instant lock, insta locking northwest of Chelyabinsk. Four times multiply. Right? Is Blinky on the right road is the question. He is. <laughs> We're almost seeing a 5k with little to nothing to go by 19,000 damage done. Hope that we have some nice rounds uh, against each other because I really value him as a person and he's a great player as well. In round eight, we Let's see Kodiak Finland. going into Finland. We did have TIE at the end, which is Finnish. And we also had Vagan, which is the end of the Swedish street names. Excuse my pronunciation. That's but okay, I respect it. Yeah, it's Vagan. Over. You have to do the uh, uh, when yeah, you're talking yeah, yeah. Swedish. Yep, Danish is, is up there with it too. Don't, I'm sorry. I, I thought we were against Sweden together. Come on, man. True, true, true. Sorry. They're Great both there. They get it. That's massive points for Kodiak. Huge damage coming through. Oh, almost enough. 42. 
left to play with. 42 damage is all he it's needs, the... but it's Wolf Trigger to stay alive coming into round 10. Comes down to this, Toby. Five seconds. Kodiak is taking his time here. Wanted to get the exact pick <gasps> down. It Wait. is going to be Wolf, and it's going to be really, really close. Is it going to be enough, though? Is he going to no. take him down? No. Oh, Kodiak stays alive. Hey, GeoGuessr fans. It's quiz time. I'm here with Alok. I already know definitely all the answers. None of these are ever challenging for me, for sure. I got them all wrong yesterday. But... Crooks versus the Wolf Trekker. The Wolf Trekker. I've never been more excited, Paula. This is about as excited as I've ever been. And this is going to be interesting because we just have the new DLC at Kazakhstan. 5x damage. I definitely would give Crooks an advantage in Kazakhstan. Straight away, really lining up the road? Is he him? There's no way. Is he him? Do it! Lock it in! Is he him? He's he locked is. it in. He thinks he's him. We don't him. know yet if he's quite we're gonna, him. We're going to find out. He's going up closer. Is he going to stay? Is he going more west? Oh, this could he's be going game, west. Trevor. Is, is Crooks confident? He's oh, him! Oh, Crooks! He absolutely is him. That is huge. It's 13k. Ooh. Wolf Trekker locks it in. Crooks to follow in. Wolf Trekker is closer with 5x damage. And we're going in round and 10. And we're going into round 10. The scores, Trevor, very even. So this truly is anybody's game. And if you're Crooks fans out there, you're pretty happy in Ecuador. Wolf moves more north, thinking he locks oh, in He north. locks in fast. He pushes the Oh, no. oh and Crooks, he's just missed it. That's going to be Wolf Trekker taking it the dog. Calls his north shots, and we're going to tiebreaker. Paul, I'm looking at the next location, and maybe I saw it in a dream. I think we might have had this road in a previous tournament. I swear we've seen this Greenland lake before. And then PZ, this is not a gettable thing. I think they both do remember because they're both in the same area. Oh, they're not. What? Wait, they're maxing no, no. max apart, Paula. It's round six. They're in opposite ends of the country and Wolf Trekker has made the journey. Is it enough? It's not. Oh my God, 267 points remain. It's an NPZ and anything can happen. If you want to be down by 4,000 points, you want to be down 4,000 points in an NPZ. Trevor, where are we next? Japan. Japan. Not yet deciding, and he's, he's actually going to lock it in. Wolf is just North The pressure's Paula. on, he's going Tokyo. Tokyo. It's oh, Crooks. Crooks, you absolute beast with quadruple damage. Oh. That is not game, but it's close. My goodness. 326 Cro on Wolf Trekker, 267 oh. on Crooks. My Italy. I in think Italy. you need one good guess here to take it. Crooks Ru going straight to the north of Milan, Italy. Milan Wolf Trekker guess. looking at a similar location. Milan and Florence. Who's closer, Paul? Oi, this comes oi, down to oi. this. Is that no? 4.5x. It is. Yes. Wolf Trekker does it. He dropped the first game. Bounced back in the second and reverse sweeped it when it came to NMPZ. Back in Russia. And Crooks changes last second to Max West. Oh, this is going to be big points. Three seconds, Trevor. Yeah, blinky. Oh, Blinky. You absolute beast. I've said it before. I'll say it again. And this two time, 2-0, Trevor. That's game. Blink and you'll miss it. Yeah, and that's three players now that have won their groups without a loss, I think. Debray, Constance, Blinky. I don't know. We are now down to our last of four groups. Kratzu, Mata, Jalotris and Lenly are about to duke it out, starting out with Kratzo and Mata. Welcome. I don't have anything prepared. Hi. No worries. Thank you for coming <laughs> down to do this. It's not immediately obvious who is going to be the person to win all three games. I feel like anybody here could pop off. I have played two tournaments live in front of a crowd of 300 people, so I know what it is to play on stage. I've been playing seriously from the last year when I saw that there was a World Cup. I thought that I could get to that level with practice, and yeah, I made it. Any last words before we head into this matchup? Anything you think viewers should be aware of? Taranto, the city in Italy, stresses on the first syllable. Mata taught me that, and that's very important for me. Casting with CG for the first time. How you doing, brother? Good? Doing great. Thanks. It's great to be here. Nice neighborhood. Got uh, some goats here. I love goats. Wow. There's a whole herd of them. Matter walking in South Australia really fast, which it should be with the poles that we have. Uh, Quite a bit of a distance now. Could it end here, CG? <laughs> Oh! Is that a 5k from Mada with 4.5x? Wow. It is enough! 2.9k in Kratzu. Get out of there! Interesting one. It's somewhere in Latin America. Let's see. And Mada in Sinaloa, Kratzu down in Veracruz. Which one's it gonna be? Locked in. Kratzu follows. Oh. And Mada, what a guess. Is that game? That's surely enough. That is definitely game. Where did you get that? <laughs> yeah, CG, I think Kratzu put up a, a Let's go. performance. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Mara, you are the only Italian player at this event, and therefore I must ask you, spaghetti or pizza? <laughs> 
I have to say pizza, especially because we ate that three times in the last three days. <laughs> <laughs> the first match for Jalotris, the first match for Lenly. This is going to set the tone for their group. A lot of similarities between these players indeed. They were both top eight at the last World Cup. I absolutely need to go to the World Cup in September. Just don't think about what happens, you actually lose. I think I'm, I'm just I'm just going to qualify. That's, that's it. Yeah, I'm going to have to play my best for sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Len. And there's one more thing to be done here, I think. <laughs> Jalotris, how many turkey runs are we going to see? I hope every single round is going to be a turkey round. <laughs> Wait, it's easy to... <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, well, he's only got two weaknesses. And the other, well, inside the GeoGuessr game, hopefully won't come into play. Leaves him as a strong oh, yeah. opponent, I think, doesn't And it? for what it's worth, I don't know if I buy that. Let's take a look at our first round here. We are going to be in Chile. All right, get it, Chris. Uh, get it, Chris, thinking of Whoa. starting with an emote. Lenny with a quick send, look straight at the camera. Let's see what Jalotris will do with five seconds left. Three seconds, you've got to put a pin down. Oh. oh. Wait. That's... Oh. Oh, man. my. Wow. That is not a way you want to start off your tournament run. His marker just not placed. Wow. Yeah, the risky guess might be the strategy when you're this far behind. And oh. That should be GG. Double damage. Lenly a bit closer. Yeah. Yes, it is. He's wow. done it in three rounds. Back in Russia. Big in country. Russia. Big points. Well, very low rolling hills around us here. He's going five guessed in it, CG. Okay, Ukraine guessed it. Oh. Oh, Zulotris. wow. There's a huge difference here. Massive difference, CG. This could be game. I don't oh, believe it. He's done it once wow. again. Lenly cooking up some heat, and that will be game. Some of the shortest games we've had all tournament. Lenly, you have a uh, very particular slogan, very peculiar slogan on your cap oh over head, there. Yes. These are words uh, said by a very wise and very tall man at last year's World Cup, <laughs> namely Alok. When he was asked, what he was doing, he was like, ah, I'm just chilling and feeling. When I saw this hat in the store, which had just chilling written on it, I was like, I might just turn it into a chilling and feeling hat to make a little World Cup reference. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Watch Mata play, and the guy was very expression. He had lots of expression. So and I think Lindley and him, was, what's that word? If you have a lot of expression, expressionable? Sorry, say that, say that again. Uh, it doesn't matter. No, no, I am turning you up so I can hear you a bit better. Say that again. Game one, Lindley versus Mata. And we're gonna start in what looks like Spain. Will the S be silent for either? A little knuckles there for both players. <laughs> Will the S, I like that. I've used that at least 20 times. It's kind of weird oh, to be honest, No, but it's but great though. Round eight. We have the CDMX taxi here. Both players will see the pink taxi. Both players will get there and get no points. Yeah, that being said, if Mata is close with a 4.5X, could take away much needed HP from Lenley. Ooh. Luckily for Lenley, Wait. Lenley's closer. And with 4.5, it's a big hit. He moved away too. Wow. It's going to be Lenley, Lenley, and that is going to be game. He takes move with the tie on. It depends on which way you use the word tie, because if you tie the bag, it's finished. But ties in literal, uh, ties in drawing. Trevor, over to you in the studio. Game, game two. Round two. We have the, the flip flop meta, by any chance? What is the flip flop meta? If you know, you know. Well, I want to know. Should just be Ukraine here. <laughs> Am I not in the inner circle where I get to know the flip-flop meta? If you know, you know, Paula. <sighs> not to gatekeep on you, but... Well, I, well you are, so don't say that. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <It's a f> <laughs> We're going to be in Kolo here. We do see a south guess here by Mada and kind of a near capital guess here by Lindley. Mada is showing his that he does not like a south, and he said, nope, I click capital. They're so no, close no. to each And Lindley's showing he Ooh, might like a south. They're if both you like, did that, there's going to be a big difference. Oh, but he does not. my God. They oh, both he should have. There's the copy. The, the pre-cope. The pre-cope. Both players had the pre-cope there. Out Not of the quite. many, out of the endless. He's actually north of Marder right now, to the west of Madrid. Two seconds. Oh, oh. Lenly, the pre cope into the shrug. That's a new meta. <laughs> we see a Portugal and a Portugal there. And oh. Lock in, lock in, and then it comes down to round 10. And it's Marder that's closer. 5x damage. He takes the lead off that, but both players Ooh, are so points. close. Marder he exclaiming. Locks in west Cali. Mada doesn't know he's in the water right now. Get a mark down, brother. Across the water. By the, is he hedging Malay or what's he doing? I'm not sure what that guess is. <laughs> yeah, Lindley doesn't either, and that's kind of like fiber guy. I'm not sure what he's doing, but it's a great guess. Um, was he hedging Malaysia? What looks like Spain? Wait, no, maybe. You go island here, what do you do? I don't know. You do island. We have yep two instances here, probably. Mm -hmm. 100 point difference. This could be. Yeah, every point counts. It's pushing to Turkey. No, brother. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! What is that? Marder! You murdered oh. Lenley! Last second! 
I was I was convinced that was Spain. That was insanely oh. close. How many seconds were left there? I don't think even one second was left, Paula. After that, Rachel and the desk. Back to you. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Rainbow. I don't read. I don't watch movies. Uh, I'm very boring. I just play GeoGuessers. It's Kratzer, and this could very well be game, and I think it is. Yes, it is. Damage done. Lindley down. Kratzer takes the 2-0. Wow. That's soon. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there we go. One man once told me that if you get mowed grass and it looks like this in Canada, you should go PEI. To Lotris, not too sure just yet now. He's opening up the map. He's Doofy. going far east on here. 3.5 multiplier. This He's is moving huge. back. He's moving back to Ontario. And they're oh, like he's right unsure. He's unsure. Back and forth. Both players are shaking their head. Saying, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I can't quite tell what this is. Would you just go Indo here or Philly? Down by almost 2,000 points already. Yeah, both players are in Java right now. And does he want to move to like Latin AM? A scary zoom out there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not much as. What? Oh my god, he should have gone for it. Your Lotus knew. <laughs> he knew. You see it on his face. Zero. He thought about it for a second, but was like, nah. Round seven. This. A road that looks Colombian. Mex? Maybe? I think he's going I've seen enough movies that has foliage in this that looks like it's Mexico. It's, you can get there's it. no it's coloring both. of the gravel itself that you can go by. You can sniff it and it'll tell you exactly where you are. <laughs> I don't think anyone can lose here with how close they are. It's Mex. <laughs> yes, all the way back up we go, but both of them close to one another, laughing it off. Round 10. We have an instant sent Vic here. Not something you see too often, Melbourne instant locked in. Instant sent. That was... Wait, is that a mistake? Look at his eyes. We see he, two, we I, see I two think, Melbourne. I think... No. Rapsa might have made a mistake Well, if they make the mistake, they make the mistake together. Is it SW? <laughs> no. They were right in it, but Kratzel did not feel comfortable about that pick. They're completely even. Zero. The final round of the group stages. Round 10, it comes down to this. I think I just heard groans in the other room back there. <sighs> could someone blunder the Baltic country here and I mean, pick I up would. points? I could. He's Where's clicking Poland, both players in Poland. Kratzo flying back and forth. Eight seconds to go. you got to commit, man. You need to be further is he, apart. Is he going to stay in Poland? He's staying in Poland. <laughs> Any final clicks no. through? It is going to be Estonia, and they're oh, simply no. too close for the damage, even oh, on the no. one round, to be enough. And that is going to be crap. So, any closing comments here for the group stages from you, Trev? Tomorrow, tomorrow is the day. Man. Tomorrow Lock is the, the day. Day. Tomorrow is uh, a noggin using day. Taking a look at these groups now, they settled out. This is a really interesting bracket that we have shaping up here. From Group D, we had the two newcomers making it through, guaranteed for the World Cup. I don't even know what to say. I'm just excited for tomorrow. It's going to be great. So, guys, make sure to tune in. They did it.